Working with special characters in the Silhouette Studio can be one of the most fun things, but it can also be really frustrating. So today I am going to walk you through my process and give you a few tips to use these special glyphs in these fonts. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to start with a blank page. Go over to our text tool. Type some sample font. This automatically just comes out as an Arial font. So we're going to change it to one of the more popular fonts with glyphs. It's called Samantha Upright. This is one that has a pretty large selection of special characters, and there are a few different ways to access those. The first thing you can do without downloading anything at all is to search for your character map on your computer. I am using a PC with Windows 10 installed, so if you go down to the search button at the bottom, just start typing in character map and it'll pop right up. You can use this to select your special characters. Unfortunately, they're very small and it's a little bit hard to read exactly what those are going to look like. So I downloaded a program Okay, this is called the main type font manager. You just download it, it's a free download. There is an option to buy. I use the free version. This will give you access to any font that you have downloaded on your computer. So I have Samantha pulled up and you can see that it's already a lot bigger just in the preview buttons. But down here at the bottom, it gives you a large preview of any character that you select. So starting at the top, just the normal characters, and then you can go down and see just how many characters, special characters, this font has to offer, including numbers and other glyphs here. So what we're going to start with, we're just going to come up here and pick a new F to replace. There's a couple different options. Some letters have more options than others. What you do, you can right click on the letter, copy it to your clipboard, open your Silhouette Studio, and just paste it in. I use Control V for paste. You can also right click paste. You could probably spend hours going through all of these options, so I'm not going to do that. Feel free to just browse on your own. All of the capital letters come first. Lowercase letters are below. There's a lot of really fun options here. And the combinations are endless. That's how I get my special characters in here. Again, you'll notice that there are some overlapping areas. If you hit Z for zoom, it'll bring up your zoom tool for window. And you can see that's going to cut just like it is shown. So what I do, select, duplicate, pull that off to the side in case you need to make a change later. Right click weld, right click, group, and now you have a welded font that will cut properly. And again, you can fill that in, change the line color. This program 
works with any font you have. I know that another one that is really popular right now is the MF I Love Glitter. And a lot of times people have a hard time finding how to connect the words with the heart, which is there. There's also the open heart. There's also the single heart. And there you go. Same with this one, weld. And this one actually has the group faded out because it's all one piece, there's nothing to group. So if that happens, it's fine. Fill that in. And that's exactly how it'll look when it cuts. I would highly recommend this program. It is very helpful. If you don't want to download it, feel free to just use the character map that's on your computer. It's free, you don't have to download anything. And this will give you a really good idea of what the fonts can do that you already have downloaded. If you have any questions about this video, leave them in the comments box below. Be sure to subscribe because I'll have more videos coming out soon. Thanks.